Hello, Mrs. Neumeyer back again with our last artist in our great artist series. This is a fun one. It's pop art, which is a really uh, modern form of art. Our artist is Roy Lichtenstein, and he was born in 1923 and lived through 1997. And he's best known for this comic style art that he produced on massive scale. So like comic strips we're used to seeing, small in newspapers and things like that. He replicated that style in a big, large canvases. And um, here's some examples here. He would use that style um, to create his art. He really enjoyed the style that comic strips had, but see how he would make his big paintings and he would do the little dots that appear on the comic strips in newspapers. Now that was a, a result of the just the printing style. That's not how the comics were designed or made originally, but when they were, were reproduced and printed in newspapers, they would have those tiny little dots like that, that dot pattern. And then when Lichtenstein re reproduced the uh, style in a large scale, these images, they would be huge, but he would copy it by making those dots. So it looked similar to what you might find in a comic strip or a comic book, that sort of thing. So this is a pop art approach, um, a very modern style that we're going to be replicating today. And we're going to do so by using um, one of his famous uh, ways of doing these letters, these bursts, like pop, pow, that sort of thing. And we're going to be using this template to do that on. And our tools are going to be some Q-tips, or you can, if you have your paintbrushes, you can use the end of your paintbrushes also to make the little dots that we're going to be making. And I've got acrylic paint that we're going to use because that's going to hold the best on our cardstock. Okay, so if you take out your paper, and we're going to be using, see how you use these bright primary colors? Use the reds and the blues and the yellows. Those are the colors we're going to be using today. Now it already has the black on there, so we don't need that. So get out your paints and get your Q-tips or the backs of your paintbrushes ready and let's go. Okay, to make the style work, you're going to take your Q-tip or the back of your um, paintbrush and you're going to dip it into your paint. So I've got some red paint here and I'm going to dip that in there. See how it gets at the end and you're going to be able to make some nice dots with these. And you're going to take your POW paper, take your dot maker, and you're going to make the dots. And so we have a dotted look to it as we go along. Now I'll show you how it works with the back of a paintbrush. Same sort of idea. Get the paint on the back of your paintbrush. I'm going to get a harder surface here because it's a little bit better when you're on hard service. Ooh, I need more paint on my brush for that. And you're going to make these dots and go all around. Now I, I like making the red for my letters and I think what I'm going to do is probably use some yellow to extend out the side. Like, pow. Um, but go ahead and feel free to do be, be creative and use the colors that you want as you go along. Right, I've got, got, I've made some progress here on my POW sign. I've got my letters filled in. I even did, I actually decided I'd use some black paint over some of the black here, but some of it I put yellow over it. Experiment, see what you like. And I did my yellow out to the side, and I think maybe it'd be fun to continue this. Maybe I'll use some blue here in this side and continue filling my page with all of the dots. All right, well, I hope you've enjoyed this unit on our great artists. Feel free to learn more about each of them, explore some of their works, explore other artists in this modern period, and create art and enjoy. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.